Worried about your health? Let me show you how to check that. What you want to do is head into software, tap and hold on the Model 3, Model Y, whatever it is for about five seconds and let go. This menu is going to come up. What you want to do from there is type in service. You press OK, comes up the warning here. Yes, enable service mode. Once you're in service mode, this is the menu that you're going to see pop up. A lot of people are concerned about the big lithium ion battery and how long it lasts, what its health is, so on and so forth. To check that, you want to go into your high voltage there and you want to click HV system. Once you're in there, this menu is going to come up. And what you want to do is tap on health test. It'll give you a series of prompts and actions to do in order to start unlocking the gateway. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We want to activate the right turn signal and hold your foot on the brake for eight seconds. That's the gateway initializing right now. And there we are. Stop that. Stop it. Oh no, stop it. Jesus. Anyways, that's how long your gateway is unlocked for. Of course, we wanna see what our battery health is, right? So we go ahead and tap on health test. So you're gonna see a quick disclaimer. I would pause and read this, or when you do it yourself, make sure you read that. It's telling you certain criteria that absolutely have to be met in order for you to run the health test. So I already planned for this health test that I do once a year, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the test. And just so you know, this is the notification that comes up if you forget to do something. I wanted to film this so you guys knew what it looks like if something is done incorrectly and my charger is not connected. Well, that's no tap November. Should I do it? Should I do it? I'm kidding, that's dumb, don't do that. So now that we're plugged in, we're below 50% and we're charging, we're gonna go ahead and tap the rerun button. So your battery health test is now initiated, the charging has stopped, and what this does is it actually kills the battery, charges it to 100%, then tells you how healthy your battery is. This is extremely useful and vital for every single Tesla and EV owner, so make sure you follow along to see the result in part two. So when you get out of your car, you can actually see it. the test is initiating. Don't give me any crap in the comments about there being a part two. You saw on the screen this takes up 24 hours, so make sure you follow along so you can see the result.